like today we'll be talking about some nigerian entrepreneurial giants and um, the idea is that like i said in my previous uh, classes that we are going to be looking at the life of entrepreneurs and we were looking at the things that made them think their personal life their business life and so on their successes their failures and how they overcame some of the challenges they had we've talked about several entrepreneurial giants earlier and today we'll be talking about entrepreneurs like jim jimo ibrahim leo stan ak uh, now these are the entrepreneurial giants we'll be talking about today all right let's start with um jimo ibrahim all right jimo ibrahim is one of the wealthiest um, nigerians he has made billions of dollars uh, from numerous um, investment and is keen to teach to teach people how to do the same he was born in uh, in february 1967 to alaji yakubu and uh, omofemi uh, omofemi wa jimo in uh, okiti pupa area of undo his father was an impoverished and polygamous bricklayer he had seven wives seven, 40 children and his mother was a fishmonger now jimo had his education in st john's school um Ibotec, ibotako uh, and um, he also went to the grammar school in the same town you know in those state right from his secondary school days he wanted to be a successful businessman so it's important to note some of these um, milestones he achieved now jimo he studied law that is he got admission to study law in lagos state university but thereafter transferred to obafemi awolowo university in ileife and um which is in onshu state and later studied um international law and um, he got a master's in public administration and was the best student um uh, in his lmb class in 1991 now he was also best student at master's degree levels okay he was also the best student at that level now um he was also the best student at master's degree level where he did analysis and decision making advanced public and admin administration local government administration and management ethical ethical and accountability in administration best master's project dissertation management of uh, intergovernmental relations and urban and rural development administration so he was just vast in a lot of administrative uh, sub-disciplines all right he was subsequently called to the nigerian bar as solicitor and advocate of the supreme court of nigeria he also earned a master's um, degree in economics and international tax from the harvard university so you see he was vast he was a vast uh, person he read a lot so you can see all the things he has studied now while he was doing his youth service jimo got minor contracts and used some of his father's bricklaying materials to execute those um, contracts he started any millions in his mid-20s making his first million during his youth service now let's tell a story about how he got his first millions during his youth uh, service he discovered that the local government did not have a law of their own but the state and federal government had so he packaged a local government seminar on law for all uh, the local governments in the country and that fetched him about 3.6 million all right so um that same year he organized about 14 workshops for top public functionaries at all tiers of government and by the time he was finished with his youth service he had about 70 million in his account so you can see that's an entrepreneurial uh, feat to achieve that's quite um, uh, ingenious of him and he, you know entrepreneurs are able to spot gaps and when they can spot those gaps they fill it and by filling it they get to earn something for themselves so it was through one of those seminars that he learned about the huge amount of revenue nigeria lost to um withholding task by big oil companies he further researched he further made a research and that is research he submitted uh he submits his findings and proposals at that time to the federal government but with a specific percentage as his commission 
all right he said he, this research he has found out that this is an amount the oil company should pay the federal government now having found it out he said he proposed how he could be a consultant to the federal government and try to recover this money for the federal government at a commission all right now his submission was approved and with a short and uh, within a short period of time he was remitting billions of naira to the to the account of the federal government so that tells you something so you can as well spot a gap in uh, maybe government activities human uh, interaction activities and that way you'll be able to uh, make money from finding solution to that gap he also served as a consultant to the international monetary fund on tax reforms in croatia and estonia and was part of the harvard team that went to ba to bangladesh uh, to form their tax reform he ran a law chamber and practiced law he is a prolific writer so he wrote books he's hardworking, incisive futuristic progressive and he was also a politician barrister ibrahim was a member of a political party and contested the ele elections all right though um his experience brought him uh global uh, nevertheless the experience brought him uh, fleet oil and gas which he uh, sojourned into he he proposed he had an idea the idea was to assist in rural development and make um, make essential products like kerosene uh, available to the poor so they can uh, appreciate the deregulation policy of government at that time so um so after his um, unsuccessful bid as a governor as a, for his gubernatorial um, governorship uh, bid he decided to produce uh, to proceed with the idea which he proposed he was going to deliver as a governor all right to bring about rural development in a few years jimo acquired hundreds of filling stations spread across the nation and that rural development plan he was planning was uh, coming to pass he was now contributing to it so he had it in rural areas in kaduna he had filling stations in abuja in ondo in ogun Oshun, or your state ekiti kogi Kwara a do state of nigeria and more he also he, he has uh, also diversified into many uh, varying business some of the business he diversified into include telecom telecommunication hospitality industry um, banking real estate block making carpentry jimo acquired about 70 percent uh that's about 70 percent uh stake in nikon insurance and he also had stake uh in in uh, airline service executive airline service so he had a lot of uh, so business um surgeons in different um uh, areas so he was diversifying like most uh, entrepreneurs we have uh, mentioned in this series another entrepreneurial giant again is leo stan ak leo who is leona stanley namdi ak was born in 1950 uh 56 february 22nd 1956 all right and he is a businessman and the chairperson of xenox technologies limited in addition to xenox he has been involved with uh, companies like tax uh, systems uh, technology distribution limited ict brokers td plus ict connect and buy rights african.com now ak was born in Mbomiri in uh, Mbitoli local government area of uh, Imo state to a middle class family with three brothers and two sisters his mother was a dietitian and his father was a nurse okay he attended holy ghost college in Uwere. when young he wanted uh, wanted to own the biggest transport company in nigeria he later went to india for his university education where he received a bachelor's of science degree in economics from the Punjab University. After his university education in India, A.K. opted to study um, at the Cork City University, Ireland, and later transferred to Nottingham University in the United Kingdom, earning a degree in risk management. A.K. through his uh, company, System um, Tax System Limited, was uh, one of the uh, one of the few uh, who pioneered desktop desktop publishing and computer graphics in Nigeria. All right, so he had a whole lot he did as he consigned the ICT. 
he computerized about 95% of um, print media publishing houses and uh, advertising agencies in Nigeria. Now, it's also recorded that Tax System Limited, his first company, has consistently won Outstanding Industrial Award as Best Partner Award for Compaq, HP, Microsoft, American Power Solution, APC, ETC, for the past 20 years and going further. So, AK was also the pioneer IT solution provider in West Africa through his company, iTech Solution Limited, through which he... Um, he 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 to which he delivered the largest ict solution ever from an indigenous firm to the nigerian corporate market he also pioneered ict distribution in west africa true technology distribution limited td which has emerged uh the number one ict distribution company in west africa now he also scored another feat by being the first in 2001 when he will, he set up his company called Xenox Xenox Technology Limited to manufacture Xenox computers Nigeria's first internationally certified uh, branded uh, computer Xenox computer has some innovative features which included the naira sign you know your conventional computer has a dollar sign the the, the pound sign but does not have the naira sign so he embedded in his own computer the naira sign and a power uh, supply uh, designed to contain the erratic nature of electric power in nigeria now he also helped uh, through his company to salvage the 2006 voters registration exercise by delivering 12,000 systems to the INEC, to INEC in three weeks again in 2011 under his leadership in his group in his group he was responsible for the technology backbone for the 2011 um, voters registration through the supply of 80,000 DDC machines in 35 days. So you see he was focused in ICT and he used that to really um, touch the life of people as well as government. So that is about it for today. I look forward to seeing you in my next class.